In this video we're going to talk about wage setting and price setting in the labor market. Uh, the key topic is how uh, wages, prices and the unemployment rate are all determined together. Let's begin with wage setting. The wage setting equation is W equal to PE times a function FUZ. Uh, and in a uh, little more detail W is the normal wage, uh, PE is the expect expected price level, and U is the unemployment rate, and Z are all other shift factors such as unemployment insurance, minimum wages, broadly speaking the institutional arrangements of the labor market. Now, uh, what does this mean? It means that uh, Normal wages uh, increase with expect the expected price level. Well, let's write it like this. So if the if the ex expected price level increases, uh, wage demands, normal wage demands will rise. Why is that? Well, workers and salaried employees care not about their normal wage but about their real wage namely the ratio of the nominal wage to the price level we want to know what our paycheck is worth in the store and not what number is written on it so it's the ratio w over p that matters and if we at the beginning of the year negotiate for the paycheck we are concerned with the price level of the coming year that's why we're talking about the expected price level here Second, a higher unemployment rate reduces normal wage claims since clearly uh, sitting down at uh, the negotiating table with a high unemployment rate, you know that uh, competition for a position is very high and, and you, you, you might have to accept a lower uh, starting salary. And third, Z, uh, the shift factors, uh, in quotes, all of the above, um, refers to things such as unemployment insurance if you'd have 12 months rather than six months of unemployment insurance you can wait longer to find a better higher paying position so on average uh, these shift factors uh, will lead to higher normal wage claims second price setting the prices are set by firms according to the equation P equal to 1 plus mu times W. W is uh, the marginal cost of production so uh, represents uh, in this simplified example the uh, core cost of the firm uh, are just wages and uh, in a competitive environment wages uh, would be equal to prices but here we assume that uh, firms have indeed market power according to uh, expressed in this parameter mu which is the markup rate so firms mark up on their costs uh, and determine their prices uh, in that manner so what does that mean for price setting uh, a higher markup rate mu leads to higher prices mu uh, describes the uh, market power, the price setting power, the degree of monopoly of uh, firms uh, and of course higher wages meaning higher costs for the firms lead to higher prices. So that is the price setting firm and together these two determine the real wage crucial measure of the income distribution. So uh, together here we have income distribution determined uh, at the real wage and both with a degree of market power on the one side of uh, employees and on the other side of employers. So uh, in the labor market then in equilibrium uh, these two duration relationships determine two variables, namely the real wage and the, the equilibrium un, un, unemployment rate. Let's go to a new page and see how that uh, can be 
looked at how, how we can look at that. First, uh, the all important assumption is that uh, P is equal to PE, so that prices are equal to the expected prices. So this will be throughout uh, the next topics the crucial assumption that gets us a medium run equilibrium. So in the medium run uh, expectations are supposed to be fulfilled so we're not in simply a short run equilibrium but a medium run equilibrium. So we're starting out this discussion here with the assumption that we are in a medium run equilibrium. Now uh, then we can say that the wage setting relationship WS is W equal to P rather than PE FUZ which means that the real wage W over P is determined by the function FUZ and price setting second is P equal to 1 plus mu W which implies that the real wage is equal to 1 over 1 plus mu so here you divide through by P by W and then take the inverse and that gives you this relationship here you see of course that the left hand sides are equal so we can set the right hand sides equal to determine if uz equal to 1 over 1 plus mu and that will then give us the equilibrium unemployment rate un so where p is equal to pe u is equal to u in. How does that look in a diagram? We have w over p on this axis and the unemployment rate here. Let's begin with the price setting relationship. The price, price setting relationship is independent of the unemployment rate. It is just 1 over 1 plus mu. Uh, in some way you can look at this as a perfectly elastic labor demand function uh, with uh, constant marginal cost uh, but the crucial issue here is that it is independent of the unemployment rate which means as well that the equilibrium real wage is fully determined by firms the, uh, the firms set the equilibrium real wage second wage setting relationship decreases in the unemployment rate and where the two intersect both the equilibrium real wage W over P star and the equilibrium unemployment rate UN are determined. Let us uh, consider a couple of quick thought experiments uh, namely what happens if uh, crucial exogenous variables are changed first we have PS here I'm just gonna draw it quickly first let's say that Z rises so we have an increase in unemployment insurance we have argued that the normal wage claims rise with Z so that we see here uh, an exogenous shift upwards to WS2 and you see that the intersection moves towards the right we move along the price setting curve as the unemployment rate is increased to UN prime higher unemployment insurance implies in this model a higher equilibrium unemployment rate in a sense uh, as uh, workers are trying to hold out for longer uh, for higher wages uh, workers are holding on lo holding out longer to get jobs that pay higher wages uh, the unemployment rate increases such that the equilibrium real wage is re-established the wage that firms are willing to pay second same diagram we're going to label it all now. Let's say that uh, market power increases. So we have a rise in 
the markup rate mu uh, what happens to the ratio 1 over 1 plus mu if mu rises the ratio falls so we have a downward shift in the PS curve so that from the initial equilibrium unemployment rate we're moving to a higher equilibrium unemployment rate uh, along the wage setting curve the all important issue to remem remember is here that uh, in these equilibria uh, prices are assumed to be equal to expected prices which implies that the unemployment rate is equal to the equilibrium unemployment rate so that we are in a medium run medium run equilibrium 